Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I am answering a question from Haley. Now, Haley says, Hey Danny, I am 17 and I was pretty chubby in the last years of my life. In the last year, a lot has changed. I work out every day and eat super healthy, but then there are days when my thoughts are negative, and that makes me want to eat a lot of comfort food. So, how do I work on it? Well, I think this is a really great question. I think that a lot of you guys can probably relate to it. I absolutely 110% know that I can relate to it. So here's the thing, Haley. You're having a lot of negative thoughts, as you said in your question, which is creating uncomfortable emotion for you. you remember always that all of the emotion that we experience in our body is created by the thoughts that we think. Our thoughts create our emotion. So you are having an uncomfortable emotion and the desire to overeat comes from the unwillingness to be with or experience that uncomfortable emotion. Different people have different ways of avoiding uncomfortable emotion. Some people shop, some people drink, some people do drugs, some people have a lot of sex. Us eaters, we eat and we do it for good reason, right? Because for a little while, it really works, right? You eat a little bit of food, you are distracted from that uncomfortable emotion, but the problem is the minute you are done eating, you are right back to the drawing board and that emotion is there waiting for you. So the short answer is do not avoid the emotion and lean into it. Be willing to feel or experience whatever it is you are feeling or experiencing rather than turning to food actually be with yourself. Stay with yourself in the discomfort. Now let's just zoom out here for a second. Think about it like this. You are with your best friend. She comes to you. She's having a lot of uncomfortable emotion. Maybe she's upset, stressed, sad, angry, jealous, fearful. You fill in the blank of uncomfortable emotions. Well, there's plenty of them, right? So she comes to you and she tells you she feels this way. And do you say, you know what? I've got this really comforting macaroni and cheese. Come over here and have some. Or, you know what? Let's go get ice cream. No, right? That's not what we do with our friends or our children. We inquire. We are curious. We say, hey, well, what's that all about? Why do you think you're feeling like that? We ask to hear the story. Hey, what are the thoughts that you're thinking that are creating this for yourself? And then once we hear that story, once we understand what this emotion is all about, we can offer up different perspectives. Right? I mean, all, Marianne Williamson, she says, all a miracle is, is a shift in perspective. So just like we would for a friend, we have to practice doing this for ourselves. So when you notice yourself having uncomfortable emotion, first inquire, notice for yourself. A, what is the emotion? B, what am I thinking that is creating this emotion? And then Notice, do you agree with those thoughts? Are these thoughts serving you? Is this a place that you want to be coming from? And if not, know that you have options, that you can change your perspective, that you can put your energy towards things that are more true and more real for you and your goals and your desires and the person you want to be and the type of life you want to live. Now, with that being said, there is also the opportunity sometimes to just put a little Band-Aid on it, right? So if you notice that you're craving comfort food, you are desiring to be comforted in some way, right? So sometimes we can just say, you know, hey, how's another way that I can comfort myself, that I can offer that experience of comfort to myself without turning to food? Maybe it's turning on a movie and putting on a cozy blanket. Maybe it's taking a big hot shower. Maybe it is making some warm tea. All of these things are very comforting but they don't come with the same side effect of then gaining extra weight, right? So that is definitely always an option that is available to us and it's a good option to have, but just realize all that option is doing is managing uncomfortable emotion. It's not actually experiencing the emotion and understanding it. And the only way to really get this type of thing to dissolve is to get behind it. We have been taught not to be with our uncomfortable emotion. We've been taught to be happy and don't be sad and don't worry about it and just keep going. And so I think two things happen here. Number one, we are really literally afraid of uncomfortable emotion because we think we shouldn't be having it in the first place. And number two, we really rob ourselves of true joy and fulfillment because we think we're supposed to feel happy all the time, right? And happiness and joy are two different 
things. Um, some of the most joyous, fulfilling experiences of my life have required me to experience quite a bit of uncomfortable emotion, right? Like raising my kids or growing my business or losing weight. There are moments in that process that don't feel good. But if we run from the don't feel good every time we experience it, we never move through it and we keep ourselves stuck. It's like Brene Brown says, she always says that you can only feel as good as you're willing to to feel bad. You can only be as high as you're willing to feel low, right? So we have to realize that we are complex individuals and we are designed and equipped to handle a whole spectrum of emotion. And the name of the game is not to feel happy all the time. The name of the game is to feel what's real and true for you in the moment to be willing to be with the truth of who you are. And in that space, you really understand and know what your desires are, and then you can realize how to bring them to yourself. So it's this dance we do with ourselves to get to know ourselves better. And I always say, right, health goals, weight loss goals, it's really a way of learning to take better care of ourselves. So I hope that helps, Haley, and that you feel like you have something that you can actually put into action. If you guys have any more thoughts, questions, ideas, comments, come on down to the comments below and please share them because I absolutely love chatting with you guys down there. And if you're looking for more daily inspiration, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter because while I'm only here on YouTube a couple days a week, I am on my social media channels on a daily basis. And last but not least, if this type of work interests you at all, this is exactly how I work with my one-on-one -on -one clients. We take a deeper dive into our health and weight loss goals because my goal with my clients is not to help them manage the issues, but to really get behind them so we can understand what's what and create the results that we desire. So if you guys are interested in that at all, I'm also going to leave a link down in the description box below. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you back here soon with some more Food for Thought.